Hello, Titan family in Section 313 as Media Day continues. Glad to have you along. Hope you enjoyed the press conference and thoughts from the head coach, Mike Davis, from Antoine Davis. We'll hear from them in just a little bit. But for now, it's one of the pieces we haven't got a chance to talk to, at least not in this way. Jared Liddell is one of the new members of the Detroit Mercy family. I'll be expected to play in the front court alongside some new players and a couple that obviously we're extremely familiar with. Jared, welcome to the Titans. Congratulations. All right, so before we get into what you know about your current teammates, I want to hear about how you ended up here. I want Because this is a very new time in college basketball. The transfer portal, things look a lot more different now than they did maybe three, four, five years ago. So tell us a story about how you ended up here. Yeah, so um, coming out of high school, I was one of you know the top three okay. recruits. So, uh, I wanted to stay at home. Uh, I'm from Texas. I'm a Texas guy, so I ended up coming to Shaka Smart in Texas. Okay. Uh, I went there. Didn't really go as planned. There was some injuries and stuff like that. Um, I decided to transfer out. Uh, I had a real good relationship with uh, Mo Williams. Uh, he's played with the Cleveland Cavaliers, NBA championship uh, guy. Um, so he told me to come out there and try the HBC thing in Alabama. Um, went over there, uh, had a pretty good year, um, decided to transfer out. I was looking for a new home. Uh, my old AAU coach um, that I came up with, uh, he had a good relationship with Coach Davis. So um, he talked to Coach Davis. Uh, he, told me, he told me he's a genuine guy. Um, I didn't really know if this was something that I wanted to do at first, so I was kind of unsure about it. And then uh, after speaking with Coach Davis, I had a few conversations with him. And I just realized that he's a real genuine guy. And, uh, he wanted the best for me, uh, not only as a player, but as a parent as well. So um, he kind of broke down, you know, a plan for me as far as getting better. You know, with the recruiting process, a lot of times uh, you'll hear coaches just tell you what you want to hear. You know what I'm saying? That we need you, you're going to be this, you're going to be that. You know what I'm saying? But as an older guy, uh, you know, I know how that goes. So Coach Davis didn't come at that angle at all. He told me, you know what I'm saying, you need to be putting in this amount of work, you need to be doing this, you need to be doing that, and I'm going to help you do that. You know what I'm saying? So I kind of gravitated towards Coach Davis, um, came out here on the visit. Oh, see, I'm glad we had this conversation. I know. I decided I'm now I'm doing Coach Service Administration. So how are you? Up here. Yes. You know, now when you become somebody who's in the transfer portal, okay. and you mentioned that there were some questions that you needed to have answered, what were those questions? Whether they be questions you asked yourself or maybe questions you asked somebody like Mike Davis. Uh, some of the questions that I asked Mike Davis was kind of where could he use me at? Um, you know what I'm saying with the team because I didn't know anything about the Horizon League. I didn't know anything about Detroit Mercy. So he kind of broke down everything. Uh, kind of talked about the guys that he was going to have come in. So we got a lot of uh, new recruits, some new guys. So he kind of told me where you know I would be at. Um, he kind of told me where you know what I'm saying I would fit in that and how he would help me become, you know what I'm saying, the player that I want to be. And that was pretty much the main question as far as where would I fit in on the team and, you know, what could you help me, you know what I'm saying, do as a player and as a man to be better. We're talking with Jared Liddell, so how do you fit, and I'm sure you've asked yourself this question too, alongside one of the best scorers in all of college basketball, and Antoine Davis. Yeah, Antoine, you know, Antoine's a, a special player. Um, he can score, score the ball like I've never seen it. Uh, even when the first few practices I came in, I seen him, the way he scores the ball, and I was just amazed, you know what I'm saying? So just coming in and complimenting a guy like him, uh, just being in the right spots, uh, trying to help him create shots, um, you know what I'm saying, and kind of being that you know, relief for him uh, anytime he needs me. So I know that uh, it's been great system. playing with like, we talk about, makes the game easy. It's going like, to be a lot of attention on English, him. So and I know like I'm their school system, they enforce it way more than like how they would do for our just, second, second language. Everything just going to open up just because so, like, the attention that they have to you know, give a guy like Antoine. Right. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You know, it's a little early to ask a question that asks you to evaluate the guys you're playing with because you guys are still all kind of in the process of building chemistry. So what's the vibe that you have just from the times you have been able to spend on the court, maybe a little time off the court with some of these guys? Uh, the vibe is great. Uh, off the court, I feel like everybody's in tune with each other. Uh, yeah, Maya. We have great conversations. Sure. Well, we call her. No, so we call her, no, so we call her Maya for sure. Fun. So we uh, have another like player in our team named Maya. Yeah, 
division. Team. Right. And we call her and Maya like for short. Court, so this should be like just Maya, like M Y. But yeah, Mayana. So just you know, Amber together, Net, yeah, she came last court, year for the second semester, but she wasn't eligible to play. But we call her Amber for short. Yeah. I'm sorry. Like I said, the talent is already there. So yeah, she should. She just had to miss like our last part of the season because she came. Yes. How excited are you yes, to go up against people year, that you're not going up against in practice sure. every yeah. single day? Um, no, nah, yeah, we're really excited because yeah. uh, yeah. we compete yeah. hard. Yeah. Coach Davis really instills that in us. She's from Portugal. We've been there for a long time. We work very yeah, yeah, yeah. hard. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So uh, it's, it's going to be great finally being able to play somebody else because we've been banging against each other and uh, working against each other this whole time. So we're ready. It's 21 days until the opener against Rochester College. Jared Liddell, the new forward for this Detroit Mercy Titans team. Congratulations. Thank you very much for joining us, and go get them this season. Yes, sir. Thank you. There's Jared Liddell. Much more to come. Denny Kapp will be back and join us next with another look inside women's basketball as Titans Media Day continues right after this.